You're listening to the Hearing Jesus for Kids podcast, and I'm your host, Rachel Roll. This is a show for kids to help them really know who God is. Today, we're going to hear one of the stories Jesus told called a parable. Do you remember what a parable is? A parable is a special story Jesus used to teach a lesson. The story we're learning today is called the parable of the tenants. It's a story that reminds us to listen to God and to follow his instructions, even when they might be not what you expect. Let's take a moment to hear the story from the Bible. We're reading Mark 12, 1 through 12. Jesus then began to speak to them in parables. A man planted a vineyard. He put a wall around it, dug a pit for the wine press, and built a watchtower. Then he rented the vineyard to some farmers and moved to another place. At harvest time, he sent a servant to the tenants to collect from them some of the fruit of the vineyard. But they seized him, beat him, and sent him away empty-handed. Then he sent another servant to them. They struck this man on the head and treated them shamefully. He sent still another, and that one they killed. He sent many others. Some of them they beat, others they killed. He had one left to send, a son, whom he loved. He sent him last of all, saying, They will respect my son. But the tenants said to one another, This is the heir. Come, let's kill him, and the inheritance will be ours. So they took him and killed him and threw him out of the vineyard. What then will the owner of the vineyard do? He will come and kill those tenants and give the vineyard to others. Haven't you read this passage of scripture? The stone the builders rejected has become the cornerstone. The Lord has done this, and it is marvelous in our eyes. Then the chief priests, the teachers of the law, and the elders looked for a way to arrest him because they knew he had spoken the parable against them. But they were afraid of the crowd, so they left him and went away. In this story, Jesus is talking about a landowner who planted a big vineyard, which is basically a big farm with a lot of grapes. The landowner rented the vineyard out to some people, called tenants, and then left to live somewhere else. The deal was that the tenants could live and work on the vineyard, but when the harvest came, they had to give the landowner some of the crops. Makes sense, right? Well, when the time for the harvest came, the landowner sent his servants to collect his share of the grapes. But the tenants didn't want to share. Instead of giving the servants the crops, they beat them up and stoned them and even killed some of them. So the landowner decided to send more servants, thinking maybe the tenants would listen this time. But the same thing happened. They beat and killed the new servants, too. And finally, the landowner thought, I'll send my son. Surely they'll respect him. But when the tenants saw the son coming, they said, this is the heir. Let's kill him, and we can take his inheritance. So they killed him. Now Jesus asked his listeners, what do you think the landowner will do to these tenants? The people listening to Jesus said, He will bring those wicked tenants to a terrible end and give the vineyard to new tenants who will give him his share of the crops. Jesus used this story to teach a really important lesson. He went on to explain that the stone that the builders rejected had become the cornerstone. Well, what does that mean? Well, Jesus was talking about himself. Just like the tenants in the story didn't listen to the landowner and hurt his servants and son, the leaders at the time didn't listen to God. God sent prophets to guide and warn his people, but many of them were ignored and treated badly. Finally, God sent his son, Jesus. And what happened? The leaders rejected him and had him killed. But Jesus wasn't just any person. Even though he was rejected, he became the cornerstone of everything. That means he's the foundation of everything, including our faith and our hope. So what does this parable mean for us? Jesus told the story to remind people to listen to God and to follow his instructions. In the same way, we need to pay attention to what God is telling us today. He's given us his word, the Bible, and sent his son, Jesus, to save us. Our job is to live our lives in a way that honors God and shows others how much he loves us. Even though the people in the story rejected the landowner's son, we don't have to make the same mistake. We can trust in Jesus and follow him, knowing that he is the cornerstone of our faith. God has given us so much, and we can show our gratitude by living our lives for him. The world might have rejected Jesus, but he is the foundation of everything. Let's keep our eyes and our ears open, paying attention to what God is saying to us, and living in a way that bears good fruit for his kingdom. As we reflect on this story, we remember that God is always trying to guide his people, even when they don't want to listen. He sent prophets like Moses and Elijah, and finally, 
He sent Jesus, his own son. While some people rejected Jesus, we can choose to follow him and to trust in his love. Jesus is the cornerstone of our faith and everything we do should be built on him. We don't have to earn God's love, but we can show our gratitude by living our lives for him. Let's be fruitful in how we live, sharing God's love with others and following his word every day. Let's take a minute to pray and ask God to help us listen to him and follow his instructions. Dear God, thank you for sending Jesus, the cornerstone of our faith. Help us to listen to you and follow your word every day. Thank you for your love and for forgiving our sins. We love you, God. In Jesus' name, amen. Hey friends, would you like to ask me a question? Maybe you have a question about God or the Bible or something we talked about on the podcast. Well, if you go to the link in the show notes, you can actually call me and leave me a message. And you know what? You may even hear yourself on a future episode. If you would like to extend the conversation, I invite you to join our Patreon. For just $5 a month, you get ad-free episodes and family discussion guides that are created to help you have conversations around faith that will help your family grow spiritually together. You can check it out at the link in the show notes. Greetings and God bless. This is Tyler Burns. And this is Dr. Jamar Tisby. And we want to invite you to check out our podcast, Pass the Mic dynamic voices for a diverse church. Pass the Mic has been speaking directly to the core concerns of Black Christians for over a decade. On our show, we've got interviews from theologians, historians, actors, activists, and so much more. Not to mention heartfelt, open dialogue on some of the heaviest issues facing the church in the United States. Be sure to subscribe to the show on iTunes, Spotify, YouTube, or wherever you get your podcasts. We'll see you there on the next Pass the mic. Pass the mic. The mic.